Namaskaram to all of you. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic. I have seen many who repent later. When I was 25, I hurt my mother. When I was 30, I offended my wife. I am 50 now. I feel for it. But I still do not know how to redeem this offense. I would like to seek pardon, but my ego does not allow that. Is there any other way where I can redeem this offense without going to them, without asking them to forgive me? The intention behind this question is, can I go to a temple, circumambulate for 108 times, drop a 100 rupee note in the hundi and get away with this offense? The answer is, it is just not possible. There are many categories, varieties of offenses. We call them as papam or apacharam. In fact, apacharam is more dangerous than papam. How do we deal with this papam or apacharam? If we offend Bhagavan, God, then we have to seek His pardon. If we offend a Bhagavata, then there is no point in going to God. He will not forgive us. Instead, we have to go to the same pious gentleman whoever he may be, fall to his lotus feet and seek pardon. That is the only way to get redeemed of our offense. Let me tell you the categories of offenses. There are many triads. Three offenses. By thought, speech and action. We think that someone should be spoiled. We curse. Or we talk ill of them. We scold them. We blame them. Or by action we hurt them. These are commonly done offenses. Ramanuja lists a few more. Akritya karana. Kritya karana. If the Shastras are prescribed to do something, if you abstain from doing them, it's also a papa. If they tell us to abstain from doing something, but we sincerely commit them, that too is papa. This is Kritya Akarana, Akritya Karana. More to add, Kritana, Kriyamana, Karishyamana. Offenses that we did in the past, we continue in the present and also in the future. Past, present and future papams, apacharams are another three types. There are apacharams which we commit intentionally, another unintentionally. Whether do it intentionally or unintentionally, further we can classify them as do we repent for it or do we not repent for it? If we repent, then the punishment is much, much easier, lesser. If you do not repent, then the punishment is more. One other division in Papa, Sanchita Karma and Prarabdha Karma. We have a very big bag, which is full of Papams. They might not have started yielding the fruits, probably. We have not started enjoying pain or pleasure due to those karmas. They are still dormant. They are sanchita karma. Prarabdha is another set where they have started yielding fruits. That is, we have started experiencing pain or pleasure as a result of those karmas. We have to redeem all these karma, whatever category they may belong to, whether sanchita or prarabdha, by thought, speech or action, whether intentional or unintentional, whether we repent or do not repent, whether it is done in past, present or future, 
or that's prescribed by shastra or not prescribed by shastra all these have to be redeemed now let's talk about the prayaschittam more important is this aspect now whatever we know about our papam and punyam more important is to redeem them there are four steps specified by shri vedanta deshika first repent for what we have done second resolve we will never commit that in future third search for a right price chitta the may way to redeem lastly perform the action of redemption if we do all these four and abstain from committing it in future then we are once for all redeemed of course the lotus feet of krishna has that power to redeem us from any papam let me also list a few ways to redeem these papams these can be some common prayas chitams one fast for a day or two upavasam two chant gayatri mantra or narayana tiru mantra for 108 times or 1008 times three go to a temple and clean the floor or go to a math after elders after bhaktas have had their food clean the place remove the plates remove the leaves or sitting at home or in a temple chant purusha suktam for 40 times you can even practice you can even try mauna vratam where you just don't talk for one or two days these are all some ways of inflicting little pain on us in fact this pain has to equalize the papam that we had committed this is not real pain this is a pain that we are trying to emulate this must certainly redeem us there are many such redemption procedures mentioned in the shastras i welcome you to go through the prescribed books for them now you might say that although i hurt someone but still my ego doesn't allow me to go and seek pardon take a weighing scale keep your ego on one side of the pan on the other pan keep the damages that would happen due to this papa certainly the pan having the damages is dangerous so if you realize that the pure test the real test lies in the fact that whether you are able to shed your ego go to him seek his pardon if you do not it would mean that you are not true in repenting for the offense that we committed let's not do that let us repent and after all we are not crowned we are all atman with many many wrong deeds so unless we shed this ego it's very difficult to get redeemed from this more treacherous is bhagavata pachara than bhagavata pachara bhagavan says that if someone offends me and seeks pardon i grant immediately but offending my priya bhakta my devotee and many number of years he comes and pleads with me i am not going to pardon him he has to go seek pardon from the same bhagavata and that's the reason why narasimha was furious when hiranyakashipu offended praklada having known that story should he not abstain from bhagavata pacharam in fact apacharam of any type of any category is not going to give anything not going to do anything good to us let's know this try follow the path of redemption first abstain if we have committed then follow the path of redemption that would keep us happy and certainly happier than what we are namaskaram this audio broadcast is brought to you by shri velukudi krishnan swami to receive this broadcast every day in your mobile kindly save this number 9443219021 and send a whatsapp sms enjoy this audio broadcast every day in your mobile